This is a book bull summary of the book, The Behavior Gap by Carl Richards. Have you ever found yourself drowning in financial advice yet still struggling to make sound financial decisions? You're not alone. Author and financial planner Carl Richards saw the negative effects of this firsthand with his clients, which inspired him to write The Behavior Gap. In this video, we'll explore Richard's insights and advice on how to make smarter financial choices and avoid unnecessary stress and hardship. Closing the Behavior Gap Avoid herd mentality and overconfidence in investing. Have you ever found yourself making decisions that you know are not in your best interest? Like indulging in that third slice of cake when you're trying to shed some pounds? It's frustrating, isn't it? This phenomenon is called the Behavior Gap and it affects our financial choices too. We know what we should do, but we often act against our better judgment because of our natural tendency to seek pleasure and avoid pain. The behavior gap often leads to the herd mentality, where we follow the crowd without thinking about our own choices. This can have disastrous consequences, as seen in the dot-com boom of the 1990s. Many people invested their money in stocks because they saw others doing the same, only to lose everything when the market crashed. To close the behavior gap, we need to learn from the past events like the dot-com crash, the housing bubble, and the 2008 debt crisis. We also need to avoid overconfidence and focus on controlling our own behavior. Nobel Prize winning hedge fund, Long Term Capital, learned this lesson the hard way when they lost $553 million in one day, despite believing they could never lose more than $35 million per day. So let's learn from their mistake and make more informed financial decisions. Why chasing the world's best investment is a mistake. It's a question many people ask. What is the world's best investment? But the truth is, there's no one-size-fits-all answer to this question. Rather than fixating on finding the perfect investment, it's important to take a more holistic approach to financial planning. While investments are important, there are many other factors that can secure your financial future, such as saving more money, retiring later, or pursuing a second career. Rather than blindly following investment advice, it's crucial to assess financial products based on how well they help you achieve your personal goals. For example, if you want to pay for your children's college education in the future, you may want to consider opening an educational account or investing in mutual funds at least 18 years before enrollment. Investing wisely involves looking at the big picture and avoid making decisions based on emotions or impulse. Remember, there's no one perfect investment for everyone. By focusing on your personal goals and developing a solid strategy, you can make financial decisions that align with your principles and lead to a long-term success. Forget the one-size-fits-all advice. Create your own financial plan. We've all been there. Reading financial advice that sounds great, but doesn't seem to apply to our specific financial situation. It can be frustrating, but the truth is that there's no one-size-fits-all solution when it comes to finances. That's why it's crucial to create your own financial plan that's tailored to your specific goals, strengths, and weaknesses. The first step is to identify your financial goals. What are you saving for? Do you want to retire early, buy a house, or pay off debt? Once you've identified your goals, you can start creating a plan to achieve them. Take stock of your financial strengths and weaknesses too, like your budgeting skills and risk tolerance. Be cautious of the advice from experts who may have conflicts of interest. It's important to do your own research and trust your own instincts when making financial decisions. Creating your own financial plan requires effort, but it's worth it in the long run. By focusing on your goals and circumstances, you can create a plan that's tailored to your needs and will help you achieve financial success. If you're finding this video to be enjoyable, show your support by liking it and subscribing to my channel for even more fantastic content. Your encouragement means everything to me and drives me to keep creating videos for you. Pursuing true happiness and personal goals. Money is often thought of as a ticket to happiness. However, research shows that our emotional well-being peaks at a salary of $75,000 per year. This means that earning more doesn't necessarily mean more happiness. Instead of obsessing over finances, we should focus on how we use our money to achieve things that bring us real satisfaction and align with our personal values. Pursuing personal goals and finding happiness beyond financial security is the key to living a fulfilling life. By cutting through the noise and looking inward, we can make the best financial choices and maintain our focus on what truly matters. Why following mainstream media can hurt your financial goals. We all want to stay up to date on what's happening with financial markets and the economy, but sometimes following mainstream media can do more harm than good. This is because the media tends to promote a herd mentality that can lead us astray. We feel safer when we know we're behaving the same way as everyone else, but this can be costly. Remember the subprime mortgage crisis of 2006? Everyone was buying houses and stocks, driving up the prices and creating an enormous overvaluation. 
When the market eventually crashed, people lost a lot of money. To avoid making the same mistake, it's important to be more aware of what's driving all the news and rumors you encounter in mainstream media. Worrying less about money and focusing on your real goals can also help. While the media provides some valuable information, the sheer volume of news and opinions makes it difficult to filter out what really matters. Instead of following the herd, learn to tune out the noise and focus on what's important to you. By clearing your mind of financial clutter and noise, you can make more informed financial decisions that align with your values and real goals. Planning versus formulating a plan. Why one is better for your financial goals. Achieving financial goals requires planning, but it's not just about creating a plan and sticking to it. Planning involves making decisions based on the current situation rather than relying on predictions about the future. Unexpected surprises are inevitable, such as sudden market crashes or unexpected expenses, which is why it's crucial to be able to make course corrections and adjust your planning as circumstances change. Think of it like flying a plane. If you're even slightly off course when you take off, you'll end up in a completely different destination. The same goes for your finances. Constantly reassessing and making small adjustments to your trajectory will help keep you on track towards your financial goals. To avoid getting overwhelmed by the big picture, focus on the shorter time frames. Aim to plan for the next three years rather than the next 15. This way, you can work towards a larger goal while still staying mindful of the present. Planning isn't about predicting the future. It's about preparing for it. Stay vigilant, make adjustments when necessary, and you'll be on your way to financial success. Investing with a rational mindset. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, emotions. As humans, it's natural to feel emotions, but when it comes to investing, making decisions based on emotions can be costly. So how can we avoid this pitfall? Firstly, acknowledge that investing requires both luck and skill. Sometimes you'll make smart choices, while other times it's pure luck. Secondly, try the overnight test to objectively evaluate your investments. If you're still unsure, ask if it aligns with your goals, not just because it's trendy. Keep in mind, investing always involves uncertainty, but with these steps, you'll be on the right track. Taking responsibility for your finances. As we get older, we may forget the lessons we teach our kids, like taking responsibility for our actions. But when it comes to our finances, it's crucial to own up to our mistakes and take steps to improve our situation. We may believe that buying fancy things will lead to success, but that mindset can lead to serious debt. Instead, we should focus on working hard and being patient. It's also important to be mindful of our decisions, as even small choices can impact our finances. But even if we make sound financial decisions, we can't control the outcomes. We need to accept the unexpected and move forward. Finances with friends and family. Money can be a tricky topic to talk about, but it's important to have open conversations with friends and family. Everyone has their unique perspective and experiences when it comes to finances, so it's crucial to find common ground to avoid confusion and misunderstandings. The author shares a personal anecdote about a miscommunication with their spouse regarding finances after a friend's renovation. It's a reminder that even long-time partners can struggle with these conversations. Talking to kids about money can also be challenging, but it's essential to be honest. The author's friend found success by having honest conversations with their children about their family's financial situation. In the end, open dialogue about finances can lead to better financial decisions. Why keeping it simple and boring is actually smart financial strategy. Feeling overwhelmed by all the financial advice out there? It's no surprise. With so many complex investment plans, fancy products, and money-making trends, it's easy to get lost. But what if I told you that the key to financial success is actually keeping it simple and being boring? Yep, you heard that right. Believe it or not, the most effective approach to weight loss is simply eating less and exercising more, not expensive diet plans. Similarly, the most successful financial strategy is often slow and steady capital. That means resisting the urge for instant gratification and focusing on gradual long-term wealth accumulation. It may not sound thrilling, but it works. Spend less than you earn, save gradually, and avoid big losses. In fact, Studies have shown that delaying gratification is a key factor of long-term success. So instead of chasing after the latest financial trend, be boring in your financial habits. Accumulate wealth slowly and steadily over time. It may not be glamorous, but it can lead to impressive results. Just like the gentleman who turned a small inheritance into an impressive fortune by avoiding extravagant purchases and buying boring things over time, just like everyone else. We hope this video provided valuable insights and information for you. What financial goals are you currently prioritizing? Saving for retirement or a down payment on a house? Let us know in the comments. And if you learned something new in this video, make sure to hit the button and subscribe for more videos. 
Thank you, and until next time.